How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Campus. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back, especially since today we are going to be leaving Fluffborough, which, quite frankly, was a nightmare university. We spent 16 years in Fluffborough. 16 years! That is longer than we've spent in any previous university, and it was just it was a disaster. It was a complete disaster. And I don't want to go near it again. But one day, maybe. Now, what I want to do today is I want to go to Upper Etching. I want to turn plain old students into charismatic money-making stars for Bungle Records. Welcome to Upper Etching, the city's arts district, where broke students and swanky executives coexist with no hint of irony. The campus was founded by well-meaning artsy types who didn't believe in charging their students. However, music industry giants Bungle Records are always eager to pay for the next big thing. If we're going to make it in show business, we'll need to produce as much talent as possible. We're going to be doing musicality and countercultural studies. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello there. I'm Jasmine Odyssey. You may have seen me, well, everywhere. I'm the pop star that everyone knows and nobody hates, weirdly. I'm contractually obligated to do one big favor for Bungle Records every few years. Wh why did I sign that? And and they've asked me to help with your campus. Lucky for you, if I wasn't a county-wide multimedia icon, I'd be a really good campus administrator. So what exactly do I need to do here? We're not going to make beautiful music in such a horrible, sticky environment. It's never been done before. Some fans probably got in and left a mess. They can get a bit enthusiastic. You've got that to look forward to. Anyway, I'll go find us some croissants while you tidy up a little bit. So I need to hire a janitor and I need a level six student union. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves a janitor. I'm gonna go for, so you can do maintenance, you can do mechanics, which is required to apply upgrades. You can do security. I'll tell you what, let me hire you. But let me also go and hire you, because if we're going to need a security guy at some point, it's probably not a bad idea. And then looking at the student union, I mean, it needs an assistant. What is what is this? Is this is this broken? It is a broken bar, which I think I have to just sell, right? And then broken tables, just sell all of those as well. I think I just need to sell pretty much everything in here. Is the stage broken? No, the stage is fine which is great news. So we'll just sell all the broken furniture. We can get janitors in here to look at this place. I don't think this is giving me any money either, which is fair enough. It's broken. So we'll sell all this stuff and get the student union to level six, which I mean, it's immediately level five. So it shouldn't be too hard to do this. We'll just go in. We'll move the stage around a little bit because I'd like to sort of, well, I'd like to put it there, I think. I think that's kind of a good place for it. Or maybe, well, yeah, maybe there. Well, well, what about, what about, what about? What about we put the stage here, right? We need to move the bar. So that's a thing we can do. We'll move the bar down to here for a second. We'll move the stage to be sort of here. So it's central with this whole space. And we can move the bar, I guess, to be sort of at the opposite end of things. And that seems fair enough. That seems like a good way to do things. Uh, now, what else does this place need? It needs some tables. Now, that I can absolutely do. We'll go ahead and get a table right here. We'll get a table right here. And we'll get a table right there. And that's... I think that's a good little layout. Uh, we could probably also get some dining tables just to change the place up a little bit because that's a thing that people tend to want. So, we'll put one there. We'll move this one over a little bit. And that should keep things okay. I think what I'll do as well, though, is I'm going to put... Maybe a dance floor or a couple of dance floors in here. Although I don't need to. I guess this is this is probably fine for now. We'll just leave it be. Talent is everywhere. You just have to know where to look. This reminds me of that time when I lost the demo tape of Fish Whispers in that ravine. At first, it seemed impossible to find, but once I did, I could afford all those houses. Anyway, every time one of our students levels up, Bungle Records will send us a bonus. Interesting. Okay. The campus doesn't believe in charging its students. We won't receive tuition fees, rent, or an XP bonus. Bungle Records want us to deploy, want us to develop 
as much talent as possible. They'll pay us a fee whenever a student levels up. Gram your students with XP to maximize their potential and receive as much money as you can from Bungle Records. Oh boy. This place needs a gym, a lecture theater, a recording studio, a counter-cultural studies teacher, and a musicality teacher. Oh boy. Oh boy. I... I am I am not sure I'm looking forward to, to this university. My last one was kind of... I kind of struggled a bit. I did kind of struggle a little bit with the money thing, so this might be kind of rough. I'm going to be honest, but we'll give it a shot and see what we can do. So I think what I want to do with my layout on this campus is try and keep everything sort of around this central space. So we have a giant toilet over here, which is probably a good thing. We do need to get a gym in here, which has to be four by three. So what I can do with a gym is just create a tiny little thing right here. And that should be fine, I guess. We could probably go a little bigger on it. But I'm I'm curious to see what the other rooms have to be in terms of size. So a gym is four by three. We also need a recording studio, which has to be four by four. So why don't we go ahead and i guess hmm well i guess we could do we could do like a four by four here and then we have that space that kind of loops around but it also goes against the idea of that open space i was talking about uh so if i do this for a recording studio we're gonna need a music blackboard which i guess can go right here we are gonna need a an instrument i guess so we'll do a string section and we'll go for I suppose right here we need a punch and kick drum which can go I suppose right there and then we have things like the door which looks absolutely fantastic uh, so we'll put the door right there in the middle and then we can unlock things like the sound mixer we can unlock a vocal booth a lot of stuff we can unlock with this and I'm actually wondering if it'd be worth doing that and also turning these guys around which apparently it's not really wanting me to do so we'll do this and we'll do I guess this and I do kind of want to unlock this I want to see how big it is because I think a vocal booth would be kind of cool to have in here which I mean we have the kudosh to do it so we might as well we could get a bunch of other stuff as well but let's let's hmm I guess if we move the door down I can put a vocal booth somewhere and there we go we have absolutely everything that we need in this one space it's probably not the best layout in the world but it'll certainly do the job and we also leveled up the campus in the process so we could go in and well we can't upgrade anything but we we could if we had a few more points which i'm kind of thinking i want to try and get uh before we open this place up because to be quite honest we're gonna need dormitories we're gonna need student lounges we're gonna need probably a shower room we're gonna probably need a library so why don't we go ahead and get ourselves a decently sized shower room right here and we'll just go and throw a bunch of showers down this one wall something like that we can go ahead and throw i guess a few towels in here just to bring the attractiveness up that little bit we can maybe throw one more and one more to level it up again there we go level three so a bunch of towels so we have a shower room and that'll keep them you know relatively clean as for a library it has to be three by three but we have a nice big space here and i think playing with this space is probably a decent idea so let's get ourselves the reception desk down there and let's see what is this that is a night school bookcase do we have a musical bookcase we do we have a musicality bookcase right there do we have a bookcase for countercultural studies absolutely so let's unlock both of those because it's going to help us out with this uh, this campus. So we want the... Where's the musical one? I feel like it's right there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and place... I guess this guy right here. We'll go ahead and place the countercultural studies one. Now, apparently I can't go down there, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just place it here instead. And we also have to get our hands on some regular bookcases as well. So that can go right in here. And it's a little annoying that it's out from the wall. I'm going to be quite honest. I'd like it to be in against the wall, but I don't know that it's going to do that. And there we go. I think that's a pretty good looking library. We're down to $98,000.
we have no dormitories right now, but I think I think we'll be okay for the time being. I would like to level this place up a little bit further. I just don't think we're going to be able to do that. So let's get ourselves some teachers. We'll go for Lester Wizard and we'll go for Neve Dobson. So there we go. We got both of you. We can go ahead and get things started once we get ourselves a couple of assistants. So we're going to go for Gilbert Asher and you are going to work in that library is what you're going to do for me, Gilbert. We'll have you only working in the library as well. And then we'll go for, well, I guess we're going for Donald, Ca good old Donny Casserole. Good old Donny Casserole. <laughs> you can go and work in the uh, student union is what you can do, mate. And we also happen to get some points to level things up. So let's go for, if I level you up, do we need another room? It doesn't look like it. If I level you up, do we need a room? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go for musicality seems like a great idea get a few extra students for musicality that seems that seems sensible so we'll go ahead and start the academic year we're bringing in 25 students we are going to be making no money if we don't level them up but that's fine so we want to run open mic events in the student union for live music on a budget they'll also give our musicality students a little xp interesting okay let's go ahead and schedule an open mic an open mic night We'll go for one in September. We are just gonna schedule, can I schedule more of them? I kind of wanna schedule more of them. So where is uh, open mic right there? We'll go ahead and schedule one for the end of November into December. And we'll schedule another one for I guess the end of March going into April. And that'll be the three open mic nights that we need to have which is good. Now, of course, we need to train one staff member to level five in musicality. That's going to be interesting. We need to level up 150 students, which is going to take a little while as well. But I'm actually not too worried about it. I think, I, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll manage. I don't think this is going to be quite as difficult. I mean, it might be. Actually, thinking about it, you know what we should do? We should actually get ourselves a, let's see, a training room, I think, sooner than later. I think it would be a good idea to get this in here. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll put the door for it right here and we'll put the big training thing right there. And I'm going to spend a bit of money. I'm going to have $30,000 left if I do this, which is kind of risky, but uh, we'll go for, oh man, we're not going to have room for dormitories in here, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go for this so I can train staff and we will immediately try training you in level two musicality and then i guess what i'm gonna try and do is build some cheap dormitories and i do <laughs> i do i do mean cheap i do absolutely mean cheap uh just two of them is all i'm gonna be looking for here which is maybe gonna be a bit rough but i i, I think we need to do this uh we'll go for the you know what we haven't we haven't gone for the rainbow batting in a little while so let's do the rainbow Let's give them, uh, let's see, let me find that, uh, that nightstand. Let's get this thing right next to the bed. So right about there, uh, we need this guy and it can go right at the base of the bed. So I guess right down here is a pretty good spot for that. We do have a dresser we could put in there as well. It increases the attractiveness, which I'm, I'm kind of here for, although I do also like the desk which actually the desk doesn't do anything for it it doesn't increase attractiveness at all so we'll put a dresser in here since that does increase attractiveness we could do a fancy hat stand if we wanted to as well i think uh i think some hand sanitizer is definitely a must have and i think honestly we'll keep this relatively simple i'm not going to go too crazy with it we'll give them a rug we'll give them a nice sort of canvas and i guess I don't know, we'll give them a motivational poster with a cat on it. That seems like a great idea. We'll put that above the bed. And I want something for that corner. Honestly, I'm thinking kind of just a plant. And I think that's fine, although it's not accessible, apparently, which is slightly surprising. I'm going to be honest, that's kind of frustrating. I was hoping it would be. Still not success uh, accessible, still not accessible. Oh, man. I think we're going to have to rearrange things slightly. 
All right, we just leveled up to campus level five. We have two dormitories right here, which is better than no dormitories right there. Uh, money is... Well, we got 22,000 from a bungle bonus, so I will absolutely take that. We've already leveled up 22 students, 24 students, which is very exciting. My only concern about that is that we only have 25 students, so everyone has leveled up. It's now just a case of, well, continuing to level them up. And their grades right now are also kind of terrible. So there's a lot that we need to do. We kind of need to level everybody up, and we kind of need to make sure that everyone's grades actually go where we need them to go. What is this? Train one teacher in musicality? Sure. That's my bonus as well, so we're doing okay there. They're all going to the library, so hopefully we'll see some leveling up from the library as well. And I guess... I guess maybe I want to try and get more dormitories, like, in there. Although we should also, thinking about it, because the students are going to be miserable, I need to get vending machines in here. So let's do Cheesy Gubbins. Let's do the Morsel Men machine. And let me just pick this up and make sure it's right against the wall. Uh, let's get ourselves the Palpitation machine as well. And let's get ourselves the Burp machine as well. So that way they at least have somewhere to go for something to eat, something to drink. It's nothing fancy, but that's going to be better than nothing, and it should cheer them up a little bit. Oh, so it turns out they are just continuing to level up, although it's also looking like we might need another one of these rooms right here, which has me a little bit concerned. I'm not really 100% sure we're going to make enough money to get another one of those rooms in the new year. Although, to be quite honest, I did forget that we had another space over here. I completely forgot this existed, so if I want to... I could probably go ahead and put some more dormitories over here, and that would probably cheer the students up a little bit, which would... I couldn't help but overhear that you don't get any money from your musicality students. That doesn't seem very fair now, does it? We'd be more than happy to help your campus financially, provided that you show your students that the orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution, of course. See you around. Interesting. So the orb club stand... Hold on a minute. What is what is the orb club? What is what I don't understand. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't necessarily receive money for club members reduces their happiness though. Oh boy. Oh dear. <laughs> that doesn't seem that does not seem like a good idea. I don't know about that. I'm also realizing that so many of my students are really friggin' tired right now. So we might we might need to deal with this dormitory thing sooner than later. We have got 43,000 and we do have this space here. So what if we built maybe sort of one big dormitory, like a three by three dormitory. We do this. Uh, we could do sort of the design we've been doing so far, but a little bit more like that. It's a bit more compact. And then in terms of beds, it's essentially going to be sort of the same thing. So a bed right there and a bed right there. And then with the dressers, they can just sort of go here and here. And that's technically all we need for a dormitory, which is fine by me. But I'm kind of wondering what else I can squeeze in here, because I do want it to be a little bit nicer. So, a table and a table. That will give us a little bit more love for the room. We can go and get ourselves... Can I get a dresser in here? I actually can get a dresser in here, which I like a lot. Although it's going to block some space if I'm not careful. So we'll do the dressers like this instead. It is level three. Uh, and I guess what we'll do is just throw some posters. We'll get one there. We'll get one there. And what else have we got? We got some uh, some canvases. We'll put one down there and put one down there. That gives us level four. So it's 15,000 for that dormitory. But honestly, that should help our students out just a little bit. And that'll hopefully make them a little bit happier. We have 12 students assigned to that one dormitory. We have six assigned to this one and seven assigned to that one. So we're getting there. Oh, not bad. We just got campus level six as well. So things are actually going quite well. We've had students level up a bunch of times. We're over halfway to that particular goal. I think this is our third open mic night as well. So that's going to be done. And we just need to train a staff member to a higher level of musicality. So let's go and train you up to level three. And I guess we'll queue you up for some training as well. 
and maybe we train you guys as well. So you've got mechanics currently. Could we give you maintenance perhaps? That seems like it wouldn't be a bad idea. And I guess for you, we could probably give you, I suppose mechanics, right? Because that means that you can upgrade things and then we'll train you in better security. So we'll just get a bunch of training going to make my staff that bit better. And I suppose at this point, we probably just want to hold off on spending a whole heap of money because there's a solid chance that we are going to have to build a few more rooms once the year is done. And we only have $39,000. Although we do have a bunch of stuff here. What do you want? Romantic film? No. Uh, bungle bonus? Sure. You want a poster for 10 kudosh? I guess. We'll put that right there. That seems all right. What else do they want? A neon guitar. You want it in here? Is that a, that's a thing we can? Oh, well, I guess it makes sense. It is a it is a music college. You want a park bench? Okay. I mean, again, I can I can do a park bench for you. There's a park bench there and a park bench there. So that should keep everyone happy. That's a report with a forty-two thousand dollar bungle bonus. And let's see, we did. Yeah, we have done the three open mic nights as well. So everything is. This, this is nice. This is considerably more relaxed than the last university was. Although minus 12,500 because we weren't teaching anyone anything is a bit concerning. But to be fair, I think next year we might have more classes. So I'm here for it. And so just like that, we have arrived at the end of the academic year. Did we get any awards? We didn't. We had an 84% pass rate as well, which is kind of miserable. I'll be quite honest, that's a little bit miserable. Now looking at it, we need a computer lab and another lecture theater, which is a little bit surprising, and we need two more teachers. So I'm assuming that means we're bringing in a whole bunch of new students, which I'm kind of here for. Uh, we can upgrade the counterculture thing to bring in more students as well. And I'm feeling like we could, well, we can't actually bring up tuition fees. So we'll just confirm that change. And we should have a good number of students coming in. So, uh, oh God, 157,000 down this year. That's a bit rough. Uh, let's see what we can do though. So the computer lab is 26,000. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I'm a little, a little concerned about that, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna go too crazy building this thing. I think we'll keep it at a relatively reasonable size. So we'll put this thing in the middle and then we need analog consoles. I guess we'll do, we'll do two of these just to have a bit of, bit of symmetry going on. And that's gonna do for the computer lab, which is gonna suck. It's not a great computer lab, but it's also gonna have to do for now. Uh, and as for the lecture theater, I can't copy this one because it's too expensive. How much is it? This one's 29,000. Am I gonna have to take a loan? I guess I'm gonna have to take a loan, which I don't love the idea of doing, but I think a $50,000 loan should be enough because I just, I wanna copy this lecture theater. I don't think we need to go too crazy with like a big giant unique lecture theater. And we could just place this thing probably there or I could just place it sort of opposite here but I, I like the idea of just you know sort of slapping it down there so we'll go for that uh, I do want to sell the invalid items but then honestly I want to copy the window and well actually I can't put windows there hold on a minute can I move you to that side or rather can I move you to like here yeah and then move the whiteboard to there and then I guess we put the windows here and here. Okay, so that's a decent looking lecture theater. We can go ahead and get ourselves those teachers that we need. So we'll go for another musicality teacher right there. And we'll get ourselves another, I guess, whatever it is. What, what is it? Countercultural studies. We'll go ahead and get you. And that has leveled us up as well. We got 15 points. We got 51 students uh, next year, which is pretty good. So I'm happy about that. I'm actually very happy about that. And to be quite honest, we can't really sit around too long doing nothing because if we do, we're gonna run out of money. So let's start the next year and bring in the students and see what happens. I'm also thinking that we probably want some dormitories over here. So let's see, can I copy this and then place, 
I can. I could place a bunch of dormitories in there. I could do one, two, three here as well, which is very tempting. I suppose I could do one, two, three, four in this corner. I might do that. I feel like we, I feel like we should, you know, I feel like we should get some extra dormitories over here and sort of do it this way. You know, I, I like the windows on this, but apparently that one's gone. Uh, we have 18,000, so if I want to, I can go and copy this dormitory and sort of place it across the hole. And if I can get another little bit of money, I could copy this again, and we can have four dormitories down in this corner. I can put some vending machines in there and generally just make this a pretty good little space. I'm also pretty sure we're about to go into the negative this month, because August is obviously a month where no one learns anything. So we are very likely, oh yeah, straight into the negative. But there's two things going on. We have classes going on, as well as the open mic night, which, frankly, we could probably reschedule, right? Let's, uh, let's, can I, can I have a look at our general schedule and see what's going on? So that's the timetable. So next year, can I move this? Can I, can I just move it to, like, the start of August so they come in and immediately go to the open mic night? That seems like it would be a much better idea so that classes aren't, you know happening while people are going to the open mic night. You know, I've been noticing a lot of students are getting kind of miserable, so I think we need to come into the student union and do a little bit of work on this to give them something to do. So let's go ahead and see about getting them some game tables, I suppose. We could give them some, uh, some table football as well. So what about a little bit of table football? Well, maybe against the wall? I don't know if it really matters where we put this. We'll do uh, we'll do some table football in sort of those spots there, and that'll give them some stuff to do. Uh, we can give them some two-player game tables as well, just again to give them some stuff to do, and we'll give them the arcade table as well, again just to give them some stuff to do, and that should give them entertainment, right? That should keep them relatively happy. We could give them a nice jukebox back there as well. We could give them a dance floor if they really wanted one. We could give them darts, which I suppose isn't going to hurt anybody unless they walk in front of the darts. But that should, that should resolve a lot of the issues with the students being bored. They now have a lot of stuff that they can go and do in the student union. So here's hoping that cheers them up a little bit. And here's hoping that leads to better grades, more leveling up, and thus more money for me. Again, that's that's kind of the hope anyway. Uh, although, let's see. You need not be welcomed with the power of the orb, but you're welcome everywhere. Interesting. We might want to look into this orb business. I'm going to be kind of honest. It might be... Might be a little something-something to look into to sort out these money problems. They also want romantic films, which... I don't know if I necessarily want to repeat these every year, but we'll book one for the start of March, which has classes, which is a bit annoying. Maybe we do. Maybe we do this orb thing, and it, it is going to make the students more miserable, but it is going to make me money. This this is the trade-off, isn't it? This is, this is kind of the tricky thing, right? I can make them miserable and make money, or I can... I mean, they're relatively miserable already, so, I mean, it's... It's only going to make things... Well, it would make things considerably worse if they were considerably more miserable. So I suppose now that we're sitting on $64,000, we could maybe throw another couple of dormitories into the campus. Although what I'm really thinking of doing is leaning into the fact that they want kiosks. They want a veggie kiosk, which could go, I guess, right about here. And we can go and get a coffee kiosk and put it right there. And then I can hire myself a couple of assistants. So we'll go for preferably some cheap ones. We'll go for you. And we will go for you, I suppose. And then both of you are going to pretty much exclusively work in kiosks because that's all I really need you doing. And that should keep my students kind of happy, honestly. That should keep them pretty good. Uh, now, we do still need a staff room, and it's actually something the game is suggesting at the moment. And that makes sense. My staff are going to be exhausted. So let's actually get that done as well. It is annoyingly going to be in this building when the rest of my staff, well, most of my staff are over here, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the door there. And what I want to do with this is, I guess, give them a 
couch. I, I don't, I'm not actually 100% sure what I want to do with this. Um, let's do a room divider. Let's do something like this. So they come in and kind of, you know, do their thing. Uh, we'll give them, I guess, some paintings on these walls to try and bring the level of the room up a little bit. We could go and do, I guess, a couch. Although I guess we don't really need that kind of couch. We can do, let's see. I guess a couch right here is fair enough. Uh, we can do, I, I suppose a few of these chairs look kind of cool. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. So this and, and this, a little bit off center, but that's okay. Can I get the light back there? Is that a thing that's going to let me do? It does. That looks very cozy. I have to be honest, that looks extremely cozy. I really like it. We can do a little coffee table right here in front as well. That looks delightful. Uh, we'll do a tea table, of course. We can do the tea table, I guess, back here. We can do a snack table back here as well. And we can also do... We don't need the cubby holes. I actually just want to put stuff in here that's going to be beneficial to my staff. Uh, so, I guess a TV. I don't know if they're actually going to watch it, though, so maybe not. Maybe we just do, I don't know, more stuff for my staff to use to chill. So, I mean, what do we got? What, what can I unlock down here? Just a bunch of posters. I guess my staff don't really have the same needs as the students, huh? There we go. I suppose this will have to do for the staff room. That is also a challenge completed, so that will let my staff go and relax. That also gets us to campus level 10, which is fantastic news. So now all we need to do is continue leveling up some staff. We need to level the campus up another couple of times, but generally... We should, and I think we do, generally have, yeah, ha happiness is up to 61% for the students, which is fantastic. It was like 52 a minute ago, so I'll absolutely take that. Now, what do you want? You want a dance floor. Of course you want a dance floor. Of course you do. I mean, if it makes the students happy, then I guess we'll do it. I don't necessarily want to spend... Well, I'll spend that much. We'll give them a dance floor. We'll give them a, a just a strip of dance floor, so when there's an open mic night, they can go and... I mean, they're already dancing, but whatever. <laughs> that should that should keep them happy. That's the entire goal, is to keep the students happy and see how things go with this campus. And there we go. It is the end of another academic year. We did get some awards, which is lovely. We have 45 course points, which is actually very exciting. And we can actually go ahead and upgrade both of the courses that we have, which is going to give us 91 students next year. Which is good. That's fantastic. The problem, however, is we happen to need a bunch more rooms. And I'm not so sure that's going to be entirely possible without taking another loan. This time, 100,000. We also need to repay the balance from the original loan. So we'll do that and we'll just have the one loan at a time. Uh, I guess what we'll do, though, is we can... Hmm, what can we do here? What can we do? Uh, we do need another recording studio. So let me copy this one because it has a bunch of stuff in it that the students will appreciate. And I suppose it can go here, but I want to move the door to that end because then I can put some stuff in, in this area. So that's going to be good. I think we could probably try and rearrange things as well in the uh, recording studio just to see if we can get a bit of a better layout going. So let's see. It needs obviously... It, it needs the music blackboard. So we're going to put that right here. I I want the vocal booth, and I'm going to put it right in the corner. And that's thus far all this needs. But I also want to make sure that we have got a variety of sort of instruments and stuff in here. Uh, because it helps us out a fair bit if we, uh, if we have all of this. So we'll put that thing there. We can do a sound mixer. I'm going to do it in front of the vocal booth because that makes sense to me. We can do the string section, I guess, right about uh, there. And then that leaves the the, tr the tromborgan, uh, which can go there for now, but I'd like to find a better spot for it. What if I, what if I put this guy here? Can I get the tromborgan in that corner? No. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, what if I was to rotate some things around? Ooh. What if I did this down here, sort of facing that way? 
can I now get a Tromborgan in here? And so as we start another academic year, we immediately have a bunch of people going over to the open mic night. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have a few members of staff going in for some training. I got the feeling it might be you, which is a little frustrating because I was hoping it'd be someone else, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the good news is this open mic night doesn't necessarily overlap. I mean, it doesn't subjectively overlap with any classes. So we should be seeing a bunch of students going to a bunch of classes once September kicks in, which is very exciting. It's very, very exciting. We have a good number of students here at the moment. We have all these lecture theaters and all these different rooms. So here's hoping for some good stuff. Now, you want a hot dog kiosk, you want a flower planter, you want a student lounge party. I'm going to say, I mean, I, I I guess we can do the flower planter. I don't necessarily see the reason that they keep getting obsessed about flower planters here, but sure. They've got a couple of them. That should keep them happy. We're not going to do the hot dog kiosk or the harp since we can't afford it, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to make some money once September's done. Because again, there's a lot of students now. There's a lot of classes going on at any one time. And it turns out that I was right. Plus $98,000 in terms of bungle bonuses is not bad at all. And I will absolutely take that. Do not mind if I do at all. Uh, you're not getting a gothic bookcase. You're not getting one of those. And you're not getting a rose garden either. I do feel like we might want to get another shower room, though. So actually, we might even want more dormitories, but let's uh, let's do let's do a shower room down here so that we can deal with the fact that we have a bunch of stinky students just running around. So that should keep them a little bit cleaner and happier over at this end of things. And then what I'm thinking I want to do, given that we have a good number of students assigned to every dormitory, is I'm going to just put one there. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put one there. And I'm sort of just going to go along and see if I can get, you know, a good chunk of dormitories for a bunch of the students. So we're down to, let's see, $50,000. We are at six students per dormitory there. That's honestly not, that's not as bad as it could be. That has also helped us level up a little bit, which is great news. So I've just realized that I think this land out here is also mine to build on. It absolutely is. I can build right up to the road if I really want to, which is kind of wild. I didn't know that was all mine to play with. We've also got space down here and quite a decent chunk of it that I can purchase, including apparently this building. Uh, I can get this space over here as well. There's actually just a really good amount of space here to play with for this campus, which I'm actually really excited about because, I mean, looking at it, this this definitely seems like the kind of campus that you could turn into some huge thing. Although, I have to wonder, is it sustainable given that you need... I mean, I guess it is sustainable, right? If you're leveling up students, they're going to be graduating, they're going to be doing their thing. So... Yeah, this, this actually seems like a relatively, I don't want to say easy campus because things might go horribly wrong, but we're not even one star and we have a decent amount of, uh, a decent amount of money. I'm just not spending it because I kind of want to see, well, I want to see how things go towards the end of, uh, the end of the year and what, you know, everyone wants in the new year. And once again, we are at the end of an academic year. Let's check the awards. We got even more, which is fantastic. We're sitting at $153,000. We need a new lecture theater, a new recording studio, and some more teachers. So we're going to be building a new building, essentially. We're also going to level up musicality, which is going to require another room. It's going to need $97,500 if we do that. Uh, we're going to need $97,000 either way. But to be quite honest, I do want to make that upgrade. We're going to need another gym essentially, which is fine by me. We need 97,000 to build everything we need. We have 150, so that's going to cover the expenses of a new building. And again, that's kind of fine by me. So this is, this is coming along. I mean, we're very close to having campus level 15. We're very close to having one of our teachers leveled up. So 
what we'll do is get ourselves a campus building. And to be quite honest, I'm thinking we're just going to build something that's roughly the same size as one of our existing buildings. Uh, so we'll do that, which seems pretty great to me. We'll put the door there. We'll put a door on that side. That's going to be 19,000. We'll sell some invalid items. And we can deal with the path and all that stuff in a little bit. So, essentially, what we need to do is we need to go and grab this gym, which I'm hoping I have enough money to do this the way I want to do this. Uh, but a cent... Well, actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just sort of copy and paste a lot of that original building. Let's be a little bit lazy with this one, just ever so slightly, just so we can get some stuff in here and get the things that we need. So we're gonna need another lecture theater. We're gonna need another recording studio. Let's copy this one for the lecture theater. And well, that gives us a little bit of space where we could maybe do uh, some showers in there. And I don't think that would be the end of the world. The recording studio, I'm gonna go copy the same one that we have down here because it has a lot of stuff in it. And I feel like that's gonna be good for us. And it can go, I guess right about there, that's gonna be $60,000 though. And that's gonna require, oh, that is gonna need new teachers. I'm gonna do it though, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can do this. It's gonna be 4,000 to hire you. And then for the other teacher, what do we, what was it we needed? We needed a counterculture teacher. Can I hire you? I absolutely can. So we're broke, but we now have everything we need for the new academic year, which is kind of great. So let's start the new year. We'll have a bunch of students coming in, a bunch of students leveling up. We're gonna go broke in this first month, but that's honestly okay. We are gonna need a bunch of new janitors as well, because this place is a little bit grim right now, but honestly, that's okay. We're, we're, we're going to be okay. I'm actually really enjoying this uh, this weird sort of challenge that's going on. And we're also about to level up a teacher to level five. So a lot of good things happening here. And there we go. You are now a musicality teacher with, you know, level five. So that's that out of the way. We just need to get up to a level 15 campus. And we are good, essentially, in terms of being a one star campus. And I'm absolutely here for it. I'm also absolutely broke, but to be fair, everyone's now going to class. We have a bunch of new students that'll level up, so we shouldn't stay broke for long. At least I hope we're not gonna stay broke for long. And I'm also thinking we might wanna get our hands on another library. How much would it cost to duplicate this place? It is $32,000. That is a lot, but I feel like it's gonna help us get better students. So I feel like I'm about, I'm about to spend $32,000 is, is what I'm getting at. So let me clone you. And it can fit there. It can fit down here. I'm thinking I'm going to put it here with a really narrow corridor. Or, well, I guess we could do this. And again, very narrow corridor. I don't necessarily love that. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it there. We'll go ahead and move this music studio along one. So it doesn't look quite as as weird as it uh, potentially could. And we'll hire ourselves Barbara Cardigan to go and work in there. And you are exclusively working in the library. So that should keep the students pretty good. That'll help them study. And I suppose we could look at some targets as a way to maybe level things up. I don't know if a horror film is necessarily going to do much for us, but we'll see. We'll do it at the end of November. I don't think that did anything to level up the campus. I guess we just need more stuff, right? So, maybe some vendors. Does anyone want a hot dog kiosk right now? They don't. Okay, well, we'll give them a romantic film. We can do that at the start of February, just to, again, keep the students kind of happy. And I suppose we will go in and we'll do, we can do a hot dog kiosk, you know, right here. Bit of a weird place for it, right by the door, but... I don't know, man. I, I, I'd I be down for some hot dogs as soon as I get in here. I think it'd be a great idea. We'll go for uh, some smoothies as well. And do we have a ramen kiosk? We do. So I think we have all of the kiosks now, unless there's some that I haven't unlocked, which I'm pretty sure there isn't. Oh, there we go. We're now a level 15 
campus, we have a single star. Your campus exhibits a great deal of administrative harmony, with each component synchronizing tunefully and tastefully with the next. It's a shame your students aren't able to capture that same melodic spirit in the caterwauling droll they call music. Yes, a shame. Wow, that's harsh. <laughs> that's a little bit harsh. Uh, we need to get an average A grade on campus for two stars. Level six rooms, we need 10 of them. We need 100 students attending events and we need to earn half a million dollars. That we can do. That is actually all relatively... Well, the half million dollars part is easy. The A grade on campus, I'm not so sure about. The level six rooms, I mean, that's completely doable. But I think it's safe to say we can go ahead and leave it there for today. We can, we can definitely do that. We managed to get this place to one star relatively quickly, and I'm, I'm here for it. So we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.